in St. John, and so it just happens to be that I can speak French, and so we're going to be doing this child dedication service. Uh, the English will be on the screen for you, so you'll be able to follow along, but this is a French family, and so we do this, the, the ceremony in French, right? There's one part, though, uh, where it's uh, where you become part of, of the prayer. It's part of, because it's not just a, a, a dedication of the child, it's the dedication of the parents, and it's a promise of your dedication to a child as well. So it's good to see you guys. Bonjour. Ah, ceci. Ça fait bon à mon cœur. Mais j'ai pratiqué, qu'est-ce que je veux dire ici? Mon français, c'est des fois. <laughs> All right, let's us begin. So, Caleb, you put the first slide up for me. And this might not be perfect, but we'll get there. This is little Jacob. Say hello to Jacob. À ce stade de notre adoration de Dieu, nous accordons une attention particulière au don que Dieu fait des enfants. Martin et Lamassi, les parents de Jacob, souhaitaient le présenter à Dieu en présence de son peuple, se consacrer à son éducation chrétienne et vous demander votre soutien dans ce grand privilège et responsabilité. Frères et sœurs, Jésus-Christ est le Seigneur de nos vies et par sa Seigneurie, il nous appelle à nous rassembler en tant qu'Église. Il est le chef de l'Église et nous souhaitons élever nos enfants pour le suivre. Quand un enfant est né, Nous sommes pleins d'espoir. Nous prions pour que ceci soit béni et que tant les, que parents et familles, nous faisons tout ce qui est juste pour l'éducation de notre enfant. Mais nous savons que la vie dans ce monde brisé a sa part de douleur aussi bien que de joie, de maladie aussi bien que de santé, de pauvreté aussi bien que de richesse. La société dans laquelle nous vivons exigera beaucoup de Jacob. Et de vous et de tes parents. Pour vaincre le mal dans ce monde, les Écritures nous demandent de compter sur notre foi en Jésus-Christ, d'avoir une connaissance croissante des Écritures et de chercher à obéir à sa parole de tout notre être. Alors, écoutez maintenant les Écritures. Somme 127, numéro 3. Voici des fils sont un héritage de l'Éternel. Aussi dans Matthieu 18, 5, « Et quiconque reçoit en moi, en mon nom, un petit enfant comme celui-ci, il me reçoit moi-même. » Et Marc euh, 10, 14 et 16, « Jésus, voyant cela, fut indigné et leur dit, « Laissez venir à moi les petits enfants et ne les en épêchez pas. » Car le royaume de Dieu est pour ceux qui le ressemblent. Puis, il les prit dans ses bras et les bénit en leur imposant leurs mains. Alors, j'ai des questions pour vous, les parents, et je vais donner la réponse, c'est nous le faisons. Mais la première question que je veux vous demander, c'est, vous avez amené Jacob à être béni aujourd'hui Je vais maintenant vous demander de, de prendre plusieurs engagements. Reconnaissez-vous et déclarez-vous solennellement votre dépendance envers le Dieu Tout-Puissant pour la sagesse, l'aide et la bénédiction dont vous aurez besoin pour guider et élever votre enfant Si c'est le cas, répondez en disant « Nous le faisons ». Vous engagez-vous à instruire votre enfant des enseignements de Jésus-Christ à lire régulièrement la parole de Dieu et à prier avec et pour votre enfant, si c'est le cas, répondez en disant, « Nous le faisons. » Avez-vous l'intention d'élever votre enfant dans la famille de l'Église avec la prière qu'en temps voulu, votre enfant puisse recevoir Jésus-Christ comme sauveur, euh, sauveur personnel et Seigneur? Si c'est le cas, répondez en disant, « Nous le faisons. » Amen. And now it's your turn. This part I'll, I'll do in English. Uh, so these parents are relying on us. 
as God's people to support and help them to raise Jacob and to raise up their other children in the faith. And part of the vision that we have as a church you have agreed upon is that we will um, invest, not deliberately, what's that word? Does anybody remember? We'll invest disproportionately, thank you, Jeremy, disproportionately in our children's and youth ministry. Jacob here is a very precious part of our church family. So this means for you as a church family, welcoming and treating children and young people as valued members of our church family, being patient with them as they learn and grow, and above all, praying for our youth and our children individually and as a group. If you'll make those commitments, and if you're able to, if you can't, just put your hand up, will you stand and pray with me for this family? So I invite you to stand, or if you can't stand, just put your hand up, and I'll know that that's good. I'm going to pray in French, but uh, we do have the uh, prayer. I'll, I'll do the prayer in English afterwards, so you know what I've said. If you like to stretch your arms towards this family, then you may do so. Par bien aimé, nous, ton peuple, prions pour ses parents et Jacob. Guide-les dans les voies de la vérité, soutenez-les dans les moments difficiles et bénissez-les dans les moments difficiles. Et bénissez-les des joies de la vie en Christ. Nous nous engageons à l'éducation chrétienne de tous les enfants que vous nous avez confiés. Nous vous offrons nous-mêmes notre temps et nos dents dans ce ministre. Au nom de Jésus, nous prions. Loving Father, we, your people, pray for these parents and for Jacob. Lord, guide them in the ways of truth, sustain them in times of difficulty, and bless them in times of difficulty. Bless them with the joys of life in Christ. Woo! We commit ourselves to the Christian nurture of all the children you've entrusted to our care. We offer you ourselves, our time, and our gifts in this ministry. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. And Lord, I just pray a special blessing on Jacob that, Lord, your Holy Spirit would chase after him. Make him a champion for your kingdom. Let him to know your love in real and tangible ways. Lord, just chase after him and give him your gifts. Lord, we just release your gifts upon him. Lord, that uh, they would develop young at a young age, that, Lord, he might be a blessing to your kingdom. Lord, we thank you for uh, the biblical Jacob and what you did with his life. And Lord, we just pray that you would uh, make this little Jacob uh, just a mighty warrior for your kingdom. And we pray this in your name, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Merci beaucoup. Oui, tu veux parler? Si tu as besoin de translater, je peux faire ça? He says hello. Okay. Oh. Je suis Just comme ça. Je suis très ravi. He's very blown away. Depuis notre arrivée ici. Upon arriving here. Et nous sommes ensemble avec vous. And they're here with you. Nous remercions beaucoup vos soutiens. Et votre amour. Et votre approche d'être avec nous. They've been really touched by your love and the way that you've surrounded them. Et merci beaucoup. Thank you. Que Dieu continue à vous bénir et continue avec cette quête d'amour et d'accueillir d'autres personnes. Merci, merci beaucoup de tout ce que vous faites pour nous. Merci. Et je remercie bon Dieu parce que ma femme a eu en grossesse et elle a eu un bébé sans problème. Nous remercions beaucoup Dieu parce que Dieu est très nous et nous, nous demandons beaucoup votre prière envers ma famille. Merci beaucoup. So he was saying, thank you, may the Lord bless you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And there's a few more thank yous. Uh, but also to continue to pray for uh, Jacob and uh, Alimasi, <laughs> Esperanza, <laughs> uh, just for their continued health and uh, just they've really appreciated how you've loved them and shown the love of Christ. Yeah. Ça c'est le un dixième. Oui, ça c'est offrande pour la bénédiction de l'enfant. 
Okay. I'll, I'll see. Thank you very much. And it's a little gift to us for blessing them. That's merci beaucoup. Merci. They're so precious. I just love them. <laughs> to a new country and you're thinking, okay, well, there, there, is, a, there is a French community in St. John. That's, you know, up in Milledgeville. And, uh, you know, we just have been so grateful for how they've just, just come along so gently. We always have a translation of the, of, the, of the message to make sure that they're able to participate and they can practice their English. And anyways, they're just such lovely people. Martin is also going to help me later on. I've got some dreams and thoughts about uh, international kinds of ministries that we could do online. And I've talked to Zahib and Rahama. We thought, you know, if we're, when we're doing Bible studies again online, we should be able to offer the same Bible study topic but given in someone's natural language. So Martin's willing to do some in French. Uh, we've got, uh, you know, Pastor John said he could do some for us in Swahili, in their own way, in their own style to reach their own people, but on one platform. I, God has just blessed us with, a, with a, f a flavor of international families, and we just love you so much. You've been so great to us, and I just, you're taking us further as a church. All right, well, things are getting moving along. I've got a few announcements, um, and then I'd like to get... Monday, September 13th, that is uh, something that we do yearly, we didn't do it last year, COVID, but we get together as uh, church volunteers and church leaders uh, to get to understand what are some things that we need to be made aware of. So we've got a new thing on our wheelchair access door that people need to know about. We've an insurance fellow coming. I'm going to talk about going green, what that kind of looks like going forward. So if you're a volunteer here at church or you're thinking about volunteering, it'd be a good meeting for you to come to, and it's at 6.30. Last Thursday, we had some really exciting uh, things take place. We had uh, Marley Beal come and teach us about our new curriculum for our children's ministries. So we're gearing up for our Sunday morning. Uh, there was eight or nine of us, and we were learning about the Orange program. So we're going to launch initially something online, and then we're going to have something ready here for in-person. So uh, Marley's going to be leading our nursery and the non-walkers and walkers. <laughs> The little ones and then uh, we've got someone we've asked about coordinating the the next age group and we're